So a total of how many years were you in Germany? Uh, from August 2000 to 2006. Oh, okay. Maybe. So, so do you get married while there? No, we got married when we came to when, Kenya. When, when you came to? Kenya. Kenya? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I want to hear about that. But So all this period, now you're dating, but you're also um, studying, studying yeah. both at the same time, same pace, same time. Yeah. Um, but I finished, I finished about six months before he did. Uh, his course was longer? Or no, no, his, the, yeah, his research data collection and research. Was, was, was just yeah, longer. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you graduated at the same time? Or he graduated no, no, graduated slightly later? I graduated later, uh, earlier than him. Oh, okay. Because when you finished, really, and you you had your dissertation examined then, yeah. you were graduated. Okay. So I graduated, and I think about six months All right. later, earlier than he did. So you exit from Germany? Uh, so my exit from Germany, maybe let, let's, let's go back a little bit. Okay. Uh, during the During the PhD course. Yeah. So during the PhD course, um, you had to do your topic, of course, where you, you, you know, all this stuff I'm talking about with the um, Germans, ethnic Germans. Everybody had a different topic. But then we were doing courses. So every Friday from eight to five, we sat in a lecture room and we did courses in epidemiology. And that's what I was saying, like a PhD, you can do a PhD where you specialize and you deepen your understanding of the topic. But you can do a PhD where you get methodological skills. Mm. So this was mixed. But the focus was more on the methods. Mm. Understanding epidemiology mm. as opposed to understanding migration. Mm -hmm. And that's what I said. Like when I came, I don't, it doesn't matter what topic I did. Mm. I got skills in epidemiology that I can apply to oh, a lot of other things. Mm. So you sit in the class and you learn methods, you know, statistics, how you select, how you design studies, how mm. you do all this stuff, how you analyze data, different um, um, levels of complexity of data analysis. Mm. So you learn that. Mm. But then you also learn, because the topic was on communicable diseases mm. and non-communicable diseases mm. and their interrelationships. Mm. So we did a lot of epidemiology of mm. different communicable diseases, mm. different non-communicable diseases. Mm -hmm. So. When you learn the epidemiology of a disease, for instance, something like breast cancer, mm. uh, epidemiology means you understand how it is distributed. Mm -hmm. So they will tell you globally, um, yes, these are the number of cancer cases which are diagnosed every year. So there's an, that's called incidence, new cases in mm. a period of time. Mm -hmm. Then they'll say this is the prevalence, which is the cases which exist at a certain point in time, yeah. which is a function of the new cases mm -hmm. and those who have the disease and have not died. Mm -hmm. So you, they tell you globally, these are the number of this is the prevalence of breast cancer. Mm. Then now they tell you about the distribution, maybe in Europe, mm. then in Germany, because we're in Germany. Mm. Then now they talk about other parts of the world. Mm. Then when they finish, this is about the disease itself. So case, new cases, um, survival, mm. um, mortality. Mm -hmm. Now they talk about risk factors mm -hmm. for breast cancer. Mm. So they will say breast cancer, the risk factors include, I don't know, uh, use of contraceptives mm. or, I don't know, age and mm. uh, obesity and mm. smoking. Mm. And now they tell you how those risk factors are distributed. The world, Europe, Germany, mm. then the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. So when we sat in this, we did all the non-communicable things you can imagine. Mm. Breast cancer, prostate cancer, cervical cancer, colon cancer. Mm. Then we did heart disease. We mm. did all the strokes, the cardiovascular disease, mm -hmm. the hypertension, mm. all the non-communicable diseases mm -hmm. you can imagine. Now, when they would do the epidemiology of each of these diseases, yeah. they would say, world, there's data. Europe, mm. there's data. Germany, there's data. data. US, UK, yeah. what, what, Sweden. Mm. Africa, dash, dash, dash. No Everything was dash. Everything was Africa. dash for yeah. Africa. Yeah. Said, how is that possible? Oh, dear. Everything for Africa was dash. Yeah. Almost every lesson we sat in, as I said, and it's every across Friday. Africa, not. Yeah, it was like we sat every Friday, mm. every week. Mm. We sit in a lecture for like two or three years. Mm. I don't know how many hours of lectures we had. Mm. And so, in most of these lectures, they were talking about epidemiology of breast cancer, mm. Africa dash, mm. colon cancer, Africa dash. We don't know how many cases, who dies, incidence, prevalence. We don't know. And then risk factors. We don't know. Everything was dash, 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 dash. So I sat. Thus, we can't make a lot of conclusions. Yeah, mm. because we don't know. Mm. So, but of course, that was yeah. that was during. That, that was then, yeah. Mm. So that was another way, another mm. moment of awakening, mm. asking myself, mm. how is it possible that mm. we don't know much mm. about the things that mm. affect us? Mm. 
mm. you know so was there any country in africa that had any form of data that you would that even any remotely at on, that time on non communicable diseases nothing hardly any oh. on non communicable diseases hardly any you would find the occasional study about breast cancer maybe it was done in cameroon or this mm. or the other but then it was for everything for all the other regions of the world it was much mm. more comprehensive mm. because as i've said there are those things mm. how many people mm. get the disease every year how many mm. people survive it mm. for after three years or five years mm. how many people die how many people have it at any mm. point in time mm. and then now all these things are mm. about risk factors mm. So you could find that in some instances you know about mm. a study which was done in Cameroon about yeah. breast cancer but that's about it but few and far in between yeah. pockets yeah everything was dash dash mm. dash at some point at some point it was embarrassing mm. it was annoying yeah. it was yeah. frustrating and disappointing yeah. it and so again to it at, at your conscious exactly so yeah. that's when it, it reinforced my yeah my decision not yeah. to do not to go to WHO yeah and i was like I think I want to be a researcher. Yeah. So that's... and for you you're <laughs> saying no, no to WHO because I dub, not because WHO is any bad but because it won't be the place where we can fill those gaps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not its job. It can't yeah. but it's not it's not its yeah. job to fill data gaps. Yeah. That exist on many different many problems. of these things, yeah. So I was like, oh my goodness, like how is it possible that we don't know a lot? So how do we how do we make decisions? Mm. Mm. And I go back to the point I made earlier mm. that um Africa mm. people decide what is our problem and then mm. they decide what is our solution. Mm. And in many instances those problem definitions and this and solutions are being done in data deserts yeah. and data blind manner. Yeah. So I was like okay I will fill those data gaps yeah. or die trying. Oh, no, this is going to happen. Oh, <laughs> so that's how I now shifted my orientation and said I'm going to be a researcher. Very nice. Let's take a quick moment of a break. Mm-hmm.